So today we will be making mapping boards for the geological application. And the materials you will need are glue. Elmer's, wor Elmer's works fine. Foam core. Here I just have a scrap piece, uh, 3 8 inch. And this will work fine for today. This is plenty. Your um, backing board, I believe this is called, and it is going to be laminated to the foam core on either side. So I'm just going to cut this piece in half and cut an equal size piece out of this and make the final product should look like that. So it's pretty hard, pretty rigid mapping board, uh, wieldy, not dangerous. You can uh, go out into the field with it. I don't actually tape the map directly to it. I tape the map to a sheet of Bristol here that then can be alligator clipped to the board. So you will also need a cutting knife and a cutting map so you don't on your desk. Okay, let's get started. All right, so I have measured the length here to be 2 eighths less than 24, so we'll go 1 eighth less than 12 and mark it on both sides. And double check that both sides are the same. Really quick. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. So then we should cut it in half. <clears throat> And I put my knee up on the back end of the straight edge because that's a safe way to keep it stable. This is the dangerous part. So you want to be very careful. Okay, so this should be the same size. Looks pretty good. So now, lay one on here. Find a good spot. So I'm going to need three cuts because this edge is not straight. Okay. 
and the foam core being a little bigger is better than a little smaller in the backing boards. And I always cut the piece I'm throwing away on the outside of the ruler if I can, so if you skew out, you don't harm your board. You can recut it. Okay. We have our three pieces that should go together like that. Similar size. And now we want to glue it. So for the gluing process, let's see here, let's put the glue on the foam core. And you need to work quickly and try not to make too big of a mess. Evenly distribute it. That should be enough. And you do not need too thick, but you do need it everywhere. It's the general rule of glue. So I'm going to go to the edges. have it everywhere because those edges are the important part. Of course, if you're using a big, making a big mapping board, this process is fairly challenging. Okay, so then just try to wipe that really quick and place your, let's see, touch, see what side you want, doesn't really matter. And it slides when you press it, so you got to readjust it. Press it down. And it's sliding a lot, so that might have been a, too much glue. But that's okay, I'm just gonna keep pressing it here. Yeah, it's sliding an awful lot. Last time, it took a lot longer and it tacked up fairly quick. Okay, that'll be good enough. So I flip it over. So 
to the other side. Okay, wipe my hand. And place our second piece. Make sure you're still recording here. Okay. Three minutes left on battery life, so. Just check your corners, make sure everything is all lined up. And then you need weights. So I'm going to put it right there where it looks, you know, the table looks more stable. And the books that you don't mind getting glue on, you can put there. So that will take about 24 hours to dry and the final product can be any size. Uh, here's one I made for Igneous and Metamorphic Petrology. Um, this is about the, the largest you would go into the field with. Um, it can fit under your arm and you can sit down this makes a nice field desk for large mapping circumstances. Um, in this case, I used a um, cardboard and just as a lid. And you can walk out into the field at the beginning with your cardboard on and put it in the back and then map as you like. And when you're done or you're eating lunch, put your cover back on. Um, so these are lightweight, rigid. You gotta make sure that you use a backing board that when you press into it doesn't score too greatly. Because in mapping there's a lot of line erasing and redrawing over about a millimeter as you adjust a contact line. And if that old score is there, it will draw your pencil into it, and you don't want that happening. So, another problem that happened with this one, I thought it'd be cool to have black on one side and white on the other. And turns out the thermal properties are different on the black and the white side. And so when it gets hot, it warps. And when it cools, it goes back to being straight. So that is something I won't do again. The masking tape works well on the edges for the sweat and for you to put your dots onto so you don't peel up the actual board itself. The other method was the Bristol paper taping to it so you don't peel up your, your nice surface. And that is about all I can think of for the geology mapping board.